Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the very troublesome pulse motor from the last video. As you can see it's the same basic design but I've got two coils on it now. I'll explain more in a bit. And I've got a circuit here from BigClive.com who back engineered a pendulum circuit and I thought pendulum, pulse motor, maybe. And yes it does work. It's being powered by the 2.7 volt super cap, the blue thing there, from the 1.5 volt battery at the side. Give it a bit of a juice up, and the thing will run for about half an hour on that 1F supercap. I also would like to thank Lid Motor for his wonderful replication of that original circuit, the very simple transistor and LED thing, and realised that I needed to have north south, north south on the magnets, but I also needed to have large magnets to get it to run with such a you know simple design as we might make at home as a pulse motor. So yeah, congratulations Lid Motor for getting running something that I couldn't. <laughs> well I'll show the initial start of this next and explain a bit more and tell you about the changes I made to that circuit. Hey it's running finally on this very very messy workbench but I've used the BigClive.com type of circuit, changed a couple of components, I'll explain those. Uh, all I did just juice up the 2.7 volt super cap, the blue thing there and it's run, been running for about 15 minutes now, so it must be quite an efficient little circuit. I mean, even with all that clattering going on. Oh, but I'm overjoyed just to see this silly thing running now. Here is that circuit I got from Big Clive. It's supposed to be a classic simple clock pendulum circuit, but it works fine on a pulse motor. My coils are not 900 ohms, they're actually 50 ohms each, and they're made of 34 AWG wire. I think about six or seven hundred turns, but they, they come in at 50 ohms each. The 47 UF capacitor, you can see in the middle, that's actually now a 10. And the one mega ohm resistor that goes to the base is actually 100K. Otherwise it's the same and it is using a C1815 transistor. It's still running. And like I say, I'm recording this while it is on its first run. It's been going about 25 minutes now. So I'm quite pleased with it. We're about another 10 minutes along now and it's not making the clattering sound so it's probably running low on juice but that's that's not bad, it's about half an hour from just that 1.5 volt AAA, a couple of seconds I did onto the 2.7 volt super cap and there we are, we're coming near to the end I suppose of the run but I am quite pleased with the circuit. Oh yes you can see it slow down. <laughs> so we've got it on camera. Yes, about half an hour, so yeah, not the world's best, but certainly not a bad little circuit. Oh, while we're here, you can see that it is actually still jittering away there. It's the last throws of life, I suppose, from the super cap. But it shows that the circuit is doing something like that. I just thought that was quite an interesting little thing. Now, while the rotor is stopped, I can say that um, the magnets are changed to north-south, north-south, not realising that... The magnet on a um, 5 volt USB fan does go north south north south around the ring magnet, ring magnet. But anyway, there we go, it finally stopped. But it is still jittering away. Well, while we are all used to my terrible table by now, here's the AAA on, and you can see that the light does flash, the LED. And the LED is across the collector and base. And you can see that uh, it does flash periodically because of the size of the little capacitor, the 10UF, and that's what's causing the jittering. If I take the battery away now, let me give it a spin, it should start up. And off we go. I did expect the LED to flash, but, um, but it doesn't, but it, it does while the thing's stopped. So that's kind of interesting. Let's see if it starts up again. Yeah. Get some better look at that. You may be able to see it flashing. So there we are, this motor is now running. Lid motor has done an excellent replication of the original circuit, and I think we can, uh, well, I'll put this probably onto a little circuit board to finish it all off, but I'm quite pleased that this one is now running. Okay, thanks very much for watching.